think it's a time, it's an urgent time when some of these things really, I don't know about Uganda, but I know about Kenya, some of these things really should uh, be looked at again and again and again. Mm. And for that matter, I think the just all joy, you belong to Kenya now, and now she belongs here. So let Joy <laughs> remain here. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be very happy to have her back. Zinzi, of course, this is an attack on the profession. Yeah. And the fact that uh, journalism and government, or rather journalists, let me say, and governments never see, seem to see eye to eye. And this, of course, is because the government would want some things kept under wraps. But Joy was there celebrating. And I remember the first post she sent out uh, mm -hmm. within you know, an, an internal group, basically saying, I see my heritage burning down. It was a very what did I call it, a very personal, intimate mm -hmm. message of mm -hmm. her heritage. It was patriotic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But of course, this now again was taken and spun round. And um, yeah, your comments on... First of all, allow me to echo the same sentiments the gentlemen have. This was supposed to be a very beautiful weekend for Joy. She was getting married. She was introducing her husband to her family. It was something that was supposed to be very personal and happy, all right? And like uh, most of us have said, she went there, she witness whatever she witnessed and like any good citizen clear mind you i haven't said journalist mm. citizen. Mm -hmm. as a citizen mm -hmm. if you see your own heritage <coughs> burning down in her words mm. you want to talk about it and i'm so happy that we're living in the 21st century where social media is there at, right. we are available at the click of a button your voice is able to be heard across uh, different platforms so she did what any good journalist would do she was there she spoke out and i'm just wondering what if both the, the time of the clashes and the time uh, of Joy's wedding did not meet. Would mm. we have known about these killings that are happening in Uganda? Mm. Why is Yoweri Museveni allowing for these killings? Even worse, why would they allow, why would they go to that extent of jailing um, Joy Doreen Bira for exposing what is happening, you know? Instead, they should be doing their jobs to make sure that peace or unity between um, these two parties are met, you know? So it also just reflects the leadership that is within Uganda, all right? I feel like we're living in a different era. We should be celebrating our diversity. Mm. As the African continent, we've suffered a lot when it comes to having to separate ourselves as tribes. Mm. We've seen it not only here in Kenya, but in Rwanda, in Uganda. We've also seen it in um, certain places like South Africa. When is it going to be a matter of our leaders dividing us on tribal lines and right. we celebrating that unity? Mm. So what Joy did also goes beyond that. This is press freedom is something that has been happening even beyond just Kenya and East Africa. We saw the Al Jazeera staff who had to be jailed for close to four right. years mm -hmm. in Egypt yeah, yeah. for just telling a story and bringing it to the limelight. <clears throat> That's our core job, mm. making sure that whatever is happening is outside there, mm. positive or negative, you mm. know? So when governments decide to lock that up, it speaks more volume about them mm. than yeah. it does about an individual. Absolutely. So, yeah, it's a fight that we must continue at the Ambo. Um, generally, um, really congratulations to Joy for being a good citizen, one, being a good journalist, two, and just being a great friend. Um, you know, bad things happen when good people keep quiet. Mm. And um, Joy didn't keep quiet. She, she did. could have. You yeah. know, she could have just decided, you know, it's my wedding time, yeah. so let me just you know, probably keep this, but she couldn't, she mm -hmm. couldn't just say it. Um, and the reason why we are always at loggerheads with the government is because they would rather we, we pleaded the fifth or didn't say anything, sure. but um, um, what she did was really courageous. Um, and uh, yes, uh, we will walk with her, this walk, we, whatever the case is. The, mm. the same way we made so much noise, we will continue to make that noise. Uh, the truth has got to be told. And it's really sad, though, that uh, the primitivity in Uganda is, is, is a little bit wanting. Exactly. Um, even if we go beyond the joy situation, there's the scat situation you were just sharing. Yeah. Uh, oh, we, yes, there was that. Before we even dive to the scat situation, <clears throat> allow me to just highlight the fact that um, they had um, one of the police heads who was talking on NBS, our sister station, and I remember him saying, that the reason why Joy got jailed mm. is because she was told not to cross a certain she area. A certain yeah. and, she line. and then she crossed it. Really? That is, mm. that, that is the ex explanation you're going to give? That's the excuse you're going to no, give? No, 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 that is terrorism. <laughs> That's terrorism. <laughs> you know? In fact, even the judges yeah, are baiting terrorism, terrorism just because that? you took some pictures <laughs> and posted them. But again, of course, it goes to show that uh, there's still a huge fight that we need to have. Because really, if you think about it, mm. even not too long ago, we had uh, Elade, the Elade incident that happened. Mm. And we had quite a number of bloggers and journalists who were arrested simply mm. for posting what I'd call the truth. Mm. But again, 
uh, according to government, the spin that they would like to use in this particular kind of incidences is a security word, you know, yeah. that is against security and breach of security. But at the end of the day, we are here to ensure that... Breach of security? Do you see what is happening in Aleppo? We get to know what's happening in Syria because of social media, mm -hmm. you know? And those journalists who are brave enough to go inside there, be it as an individual or under a certain media house. Mm -hmm. And you're telling mm -hmm. me breach of free of security? Mm -hmm. okay. No, not, not if you're going to use it to cover up what you're doing. But, but going... But, yeah, yeah, go yeah, so I, I, and I, I don't think it's just Uganda, I know. And we remember it was Uganda and another country that at some point burnt even social media and tried to freeze okay, everybody yes. mm -hmm. from, from, from socializing. Actually, Gambia right now, yes, as, yeah, as, as yeah. they were... Uh, the um, election. the, the elections elections yeah. right now. There's yeah. no social media, there's no, I internet. think, phone calls, there's no internet. You know, it, 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 it becomes very funny, and that's what I'm saying, it's not far from home, because mm -hmm. we have seen uh, traces of, of, of things like this, uh, dark ends of, of, of bloggers and people who are vocal and who can articulate issues around government issues and corruption, who, in, in the past few months or so, this year actually, to be particular, have been in trouble with the government. Mm -hmm. and, and you can almost try to see where this is going. Mm -hmm. and, and even as we think of Uganda and, and, the, and uh, where this has already reached, I start to think about home and even journalists here. Um, people are vocal here about issues and, and, and what it would even be as we go, move towards uh, 2017. Michael. Yeah, and as we get closer to election, of course, that's a point to worry. But going back to but, Uganda. But just a uh, thought, <clears throat> what would happen if they switched off our social media in Kenya? Is it would it be chaotic or would we save on bundles? <laughs> you, you think? No, I know, I know a number <laughs> we save. A number we save on bundles. Who's but, saving on bundles? But, but, but and, no, and no, by no. the way, let's just make it clear, it's Solo who'd be saving on bundles. No, but Solo the rest of us use my TOK is all over the world right now. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very hard to stop TOK. And, and in this day and age, I, I don't think that LAN, would happen in LAN Kenya. networks. We've forgotten how internet began. LAN networks. Bring your laptop, my computer, everything. LAN networks. Yes, yeah. And we will find a way. <laughs> there, there will we be a way. find a way. Trust me, yes. there will be a way. There would be a lot of... But going back to Uganda and talking about um, some things that we just cannot understand, there was this student who apparently was refused admission, and the reason, according to the management of the university, was because her skirt was too short. Now, too short, of course, is something that we can debate. Yes. How short is too short? Yes. But <laughs> apparently, according to them, it was showing her knees. Mm. Huh? And we have a picture. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Her talking about being short? primitive and Uganda just being a place where... Huh? Um, Oh, yeah. that is too short? Mm, Apparently, well. uh, I remember reading, she's called Joanne, yeah? Allow mm. me to jump into this one. She's called Joanne, mm. yeah. and she updated it on her Facebook page. Of course, it went viral. And the thing is, like you said, Michael, um, it's the fact that her knees were showing and that her knees would be a distraction to men and boys in what, the school What campus. university is this? <laughs> she's studying law. You don't like knees. And just as well, she's... They have situations with knees. They have issues with knees or not? And just as well, she's studying law because yeah, then I think she's going to need them it. Yeah, she'll sue them We like her knees, don't we? Mike. <laughs> And, and just like Joy, she should just cross over to Kenya. Yeah. We like knees. We, we, have, no. we have no issues with We that. have no issues with short steps. Yeah, we like knees, elbows, yeah. everything. <laughs> elbows? Ah. So, so, so did she do the exams, though? Or write the exams? Well, you? according to uh, the reports, Zinzi, I think she was not admitted into the school. They, they refused initially. Oh, what, what happened is that um, she was uh, going to school like any other day. Mm -hmm. And at the gate, they had, there were cops. So she uh, thought, you know, this is just another <laughs> day of security. Exactly, security cops, issues. Uh, she stopped when she was when she was told, you know, stop and she was told and then you know your skirt is too short. Do you know she laughed? She was like, What do you mean my skirt she is too short? She probably thought it was She's a like, joke. This is a joke. And the reason she was asked, okay, why 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 can I not go to class? Because it's too short. It's showing, it's showing your, your knees, you'd be a distraction to married men and boys. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's been uh, <laughs> there's, there's been uh, that law that was passed uh, about uh, indecency and uh, um, um, uh, scanty dressing in, in Uganda. No, uh, and they even threatened uh, people from dressing. And you know, sometimes back uh, um, when we used to go and party in Uganda, yeah. uh, oh I have to say one thing: <laughs> yes. that ladies in Uganda really know how to dress down mm. for a party. But I don't see dress anything down. wrong with this, or yeah, unless dress, the school uh, had in, um, an objection about the knees or uh, well, like moving forward. I don't see how the distraction. Yeah, mm. Mike, could you be distracted by anybody's knees if, or anything? If, if it was about distraction, let me <laughs> yeah. just put it this way: I'd say that Adiambo would not be on the set right now. But anyway, that's. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's something we don't want to get into right <laughs> now. Because <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh, and Salo has got a, a very important issue. Back in Uganda, before this uh, yes. incident came up, back yes. in 2014, you actually mentioned of a bill. Yes. It was called the Miniscat Bill, if I'm not wrong. Exactly. And, and activists bill. and yes. women made noise about it because that bill was there to attack women. Yes. And this, it was too late, by the way, because women already attacked women, were already undressed <laughs> women. <laughs> you know, it, already, it was already too late. The and then you wanted to know back what, has, what was happening here at home. My dress, my choice. Yes. You know, the issue of my dress, my choice was yes. something very big. Yes. I feel like if I'm dressing is not violating the personal space, especially if I'm in public, then let us be. You know, but the way she ended her statement mm -hmm. is let us prosper. We could introduce knee caps, maybe for those people who have. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> if, if the knees are an issue, we could have knee caps. Don't, but yet again, have you seen how Ugandan uh, security forces or police forces freeze? freeze? Frisca, yeah, I remember yeah. the public yeah. when they were on social media. Have you seen yeah, so some yeah, pictures which was very, very <laughs> serious frisking. And uh, yeah, that leaves a lot to be desired. But anyway, my dress, my choice is where we left it in Kenya. Yes. And hopefully, and that's, at where least, we at are. Least that, that's where we are. We left it at <laughs> that. Nick, but of course, there's a conversation. There's a conversation of how short is too short. Yes. And also what we'd call the social contract. And the mm -hmm. social contract here being, we are social beings. Mm -hmm. So when you wear a skirt that is way too short, Mm -hmm. Then <laughs> look at Michael. Can you yeah. say to Mike, you, could, you, could, you, could, you could catch a cold. I, I just think <laughs> you could be Ugandan men or women or whoever it is burning that have problems with knees, mm -hmm. yeah. not skirts. So mm -hmm. You so see, Michael, knees is the problem. The bigger, the, bigger, yeah, the bigger issue here is if they say that your profession, you know, because she's studying law, mm -hmm. maybe her profession doesn't allow it. By the way, I feel like that's more of a sus substantive um, reason. Argument. But when you tell me because it's a distraction to men and boys. Well, yeah. if you think about it, when you talk about profession, why is it that within that profession, maybe then you're not allowed? Because it is a distraction a to the court. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're interfering with the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike. My cover girl is too short. My cover girl has a, My no cover girl. Move on. Let's, move. Let's, let's, let's move on to something else. Because once we start cover girls, I know this conversation will go south. <laughs> now. The other thing that was trending was uh, if Matiangi was president. Of course, this is after he released, mm -hmm. the, or rather, let me say the education uh, ministry released the results a month earlier, which, mm -hmm. I mean, we must give it up to uh, uh, Matiangi. Sure. He's definitely Matiangi done a very good job mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, the hashtag then was if Matiangi was president. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me tell you, uh, okay. Kenyans I'm, I'm, are... I'm, I must say, um, uh, for Matiangi, uh, um, in, the, in, the, in the light of what has been happening in the country, every day, every ministry is about corruption. There's this standard, there's this billions of shillings that have been, have been lost. Mm. There, was, there was a positive twist to it. You know, um, uh, something positive came. We've mm. seen him uh, waking up very early in the morning, going to make sure that uh, um, the exams are properly sealed, they've been uh, dispensed at all uh, um, uh, exam examination units uh, everywhere. Uh, yet again, this one came in as a surprise, you know, as a, as a very functional... Um, uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm of government or, or, or the ministry. Uh, but then again, look at Kenyans and how they did it, it twist it this so one. It, it's hilarious. <laughs> the you, you have to know one thing that uh, if, if you mess with Kenyans, be ready to be um, to face uh, the wrath. To face the wrath. Yes. Okay, yeah. Understand? Yet again, if they think you're performing very well, mm. then Amazing. they elevate you yeah. uh, in, in, the, in the right way. And uh, as soon as everybody got surprised and we were saying, okay, um, uh, the kids this time around, you know, will be having a hard Christmas, <laughs> especially mm -hmm. if you flop. If you flop. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Abu, if you start asking for shopping or ne chapati ingine, you'll be mm -hmm. asked, kamu ngikoki fanya exams when you nakulanga, maybe your results could have been much better. But, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's changed and, yeah. uh, a few things. Some of the things we did not think would, would be would functional. Work, yeah. I never thought that we would actually have uh, a, a four-year selection completed before mid-December. Mm. And in and fact, then we, we already know uh, yeah. that the, the kids Imagine. are reporting to school on the second week of, uh, of January. Yeah. January. Yeah. 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 And remember the, 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 the memes that have been going round yes. of Tafadali, you know, take these kids back to school, <laughs> Wamezidi, yes. you know, with a child in the mm. toilet flashing yes. himself. Yeah. Yeah. There's been also so, <laughs> so it looks like Matiangi literally yeah. listened, listened and had. Yeah. And it's also a good thing, I think, in terms of planning. Yes. Yes. Because many people go into Christmas and here you are, you don't know what school your child is going 
to. Right. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what the results are going to be. But now, at least you know, wamepita ama kama ni kurudia, wanarudia. Exactly. Can I say something? I'm, I'm looking at the, um, the cover shots around air right now. Mm -hmm. And there's something beautiful about servant leadership. And that's what he's portraying. We forget being, uh, being a servitude, servant leadership within a public uh, forum, within a private forum. It's something amazing. I mean, Matiangi has done... It's a fresh, it's a breath air. It's, it's fresh air, you know. Mm. And yeah, allow me to take this one a bit further. You know the way we've been having scandals that are scandal this year mm -hmm. and even the years prior to that. These leaders of ours, they go abroad. They look at other uh, systems like Finland, Netherlands. They see how amazing the structures are. And when they come back home, I ask myself, is it that they don't want the same thing for their people? You think, you know, you go outside there, you'd be inspired to bring that same change back here. Absolutely. Home, you know? and, and I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but I met a very influential person in this country just this week. Mm. And the reason why I don't want to let the cat out of the bag is because uh, he's going to be featuring oh, next week. And okay. I'm just tying oh, really? into what you've That's said. Nice. Right. Yes. And one of the things he mentioned is, because uh, I asked him, mm. when leaders go out of the country mm. and they come back, yeah. what does it doesn't anything Does click because he was telling me at the age of 11 he went out of the country the thing that hit him mm. is he went to India mm. and he saw like uh, 20 story buildings and he thought mm. what is it that these guys have yeah, that we do way. not have mm. at that time I think the tallest building in Kenya maybe was four stories mm. but he came back with a passion to do that so I don't know what it is with our leaders nowadays, no, no, nowadays it's about per diem right if I travel, yeah. how much money am I coming back with? Mm. You know? But Mike, again, I just think uh, what this shows us, it's workable. We just remember yes. the days oh, of yes. Mituke, and that's yes, what, again, by the way. Uh, social media was bringing out last night and the all of yesterday. That one man can stand up and mm. say, I can work against mm. the systems mm. that would be corruption or whatever it is, mm. and just do my work. Mm. I mean, this guy wakes up in the morning. I just remember the other day he surprised another school, <laughs> Katiani yes. Nukambani. Yes. Yes. I mean, you're waking up to to the parade and the guy is there. Yes. And you're just thinking, like, oh, I'm just doing my work to find your kazi, was it? And yeah. you see, <laughs> yes. servant and, leadership. And, and, and so what you're seeing out of, uh, out of him is that he's just devoted to just change yeah. the education system. I know we have the, the education policy right now on yeah. change, and it is time to believe mm. that if Kenyans themselves and the leaders that we have can just devote towards duty mm. and not towards per diem, mm. I, I mean, we could have a lot of change. And Mike, I'm have told that we have, we'll have the exams for the Form 4s actually two weeks or so, yeah, and, and yeah. even said I will go and sit with the guys who are examining that mm. and marking that, and I'll make sure the results are And you know the okay. other thing that uh, this basically makes me wonder is how much time was being wasted with all the examination yes. and how much per diem yeah, was being collected. Because no. well, it's been done within but a certain time. Per diem is still important. Well. Though, because <laughs> because it's, still diem, it's still important, but, but it's possible. It's doable, um, especially the, the exam beat, because it's kids were really wasting a lot of time. But what, what struck me about this is, is the, the unity and the different arms of government that actually worked together and we did not know that they could work yes. together mm. to, support, yeah, to, to support one another. That that was a show of, 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 that of unity. That it, it's really mm. possible to work around it, um, around that. Parents and their memes, I think right now that mm. is whatever. But on a very good note about these results, your, your friend uh, got 399 and yes, has 399 yes. K. Yes, 399,000. Yes. Oh, that but, um, is uh, Sonko's adopted son. Uh, yes, yes. yes. That. Was that actually a real amount that he was given? Was that after the exams or that was before? No, no, no. Oh, I, he had, he had, uh, Sonko had already promised uh, his adopted son because this is the elder brother to Osinia uh, who was sitting for his KCP examination and he told him, Whatever so mark you, you get, get, I'll give you I'll that pay amount of you money. That much. You don't see so him it, saying he got an E in maths. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I could count the money for him. No, 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 he no, got no. an E in maths. But I can count the money for him. Count the money. So he got he scored a 399, yeah, 399. Uh, right. which is a high score actually, mm. because if you look at uh, I think the the, the, the overall. Um, um, yeah, there. For yesterday was uh, so that was actually money that he was given by his uh, father in court. Yes, yes, that's, that's for, by Nairobi senator, and that's yeah. that's he a, matched that's the amount of money with the number of points. Yeah, three hundred ninety-nine thousand. I think I can go back and do school. Sonko, I am willing to go back. <laughs> you are <were> going back. <laughs> I will go back. <laughs> Sonko is himself is in school. So yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 he's in school. He's in school. Who is going to match Sonko? Then another thing, another thing around the same thing is that I know when you try to bring change, there's a lot of opposition. And we, yeah. we could also see the way schools rioted. We remember all that yes. uh, across the last quarter of mm -hmm. uh, actually half of this year. School rioted, there was a lot of burning of schools and all that. And again, I'm told even when the marking is going on, even some members who are supposed to be marking the exams mm. went on strike. Why? Mm. Pardiem again. Uh, yeah, Pardiem. 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 Pard
my DM issue is an issue. But now um, we have one boy, one boy from Elani uh, on call, and feel free to jump in. And uh, good morning, one boy. Good to have you this morning. We were just uh, looking at your song. Your song was Song of the Week. Uh, I love you. Oh. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys? Very, very well, thank you. And uh, one boy, first of all, congratulations. The song is awesome. It's dope as usual. Oh, thank you. We really enjoyed making it in the studio. So it's, it's, it's good to hear such comments coming from uh, people that we hold very highly, like you guys. Absolutely. At now, what was the inspiration behind the song? Honestly speaking, we were in the studio. Um, we were wondering what next song to record. We had, because every time we go to the studio, we normally have a scheduled song that we're going to be singing. So that day we had a, the scheduled song and it was put and we were trying to, you know, sing it and, and, and make it good. But it, it really wasn't working. The vibe wasn't right. So we were like, ah, whatever, man. So to make up at Rizzi with tea time, what's next? And then Brian sounds something. Um, Teddy B, the producer, played something. Before you know it, we have a song called I Love You. Wow. And <laughs> I must say that if it was out of that, please be making those mistakes. Say, Mali, Akuna, Nini, Zinatoka. You know what? We learned from that. And nowadays in the studio, Timacha Chaku forced me to. Please don't force me. We come out on a force to show us. Please just stop burning school and stop burning schools and love each other. Yes. Can she hear me? Hello, I'm going to hear you. Go ahead. Hi. Hi, what's up? You guys are looking good. And I, I, I can actually connect uh, the story of how you told us the uh, uh, making of the song and how we decided to spin or bin it to yeah. this morning. Mm -hmm. You know, we were like, uh, last night we were like, uh, hey guys, what are we going to do tomorrow mm -hmm. morning? And then we were like, whatever, man, let's do the Elani song. <laughs> and uh, so the song was By awesome, way, but yeah. we, had to, we had to spin it to all of us. You see, that's, that's, I guess we have achieved the, the, the purpose of the song. Because the song is just like, ah, meh, whatever, man. Let's just do this. And let's just do this is what? Let's love each other. And you can only imagine if every single person in the world, even from all the way in America, the Orlando guys who are just like beating each other in clubs and shooting each other, if we all had that kind of heart where we just went like, ah, it's okay, man. Let's just love each other and have that vibe in our lives as we move forward. There would be no Al Qaeda. Mm -hmm. There would be no wars. We'd Absolutely. Just be having money all around, everything would be enough for everybody if we just took the time to love each other as much as we loved ourselves. Absolutely. Thank you, Amboy. And well, what's what's the plan for Elani right now? You know, what do we should we expect in the future? I know this might be putting you on the spot and under pressure, mm -hmm. but you guys have kept the bar so high. Uh, Actually, what 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 are we expecting next? It's, it's so unfortunate that I can't answer that question fully mm -hmm. because I will be uh, struggled be... by my two musketeers <laughs> in my management. Mm -hmm. But honestly speaking, mm -hmm. very good things are ahead. I'm excited. The things that we have been doing while we have been quiet, I'm finally excited that we'll have the opportunity to release them and release things that, that come from our heart. Just like the way this one came from our heart. We didn't force it. It's just something to debate, played something, Brian sang something. Before you know it, we have a full song. Those are the kind of songs that we have coming up. Okay. Songs that we have enjoyed doing. Songs that have connected the three of us together to the point where we go like, wow. This is what we can do when the three of us are in sync. Mm -hmm. it's, it's incredible. So I'm, I'm really excited to see uh, what Tim Melani uh, think about the next phase or rather the next season of our lives. Uh, uh, honestly speaking, the word is I'm excited. Yeah. All right, thank you, one boy. And the video as well is fantastic. By the way, uh, we had an argument here whether it was shot in Ukambani. Oh, Just yeah. to confirm, was it? was it shot in Ukambani? It was shot. First of all, let me just big up the team that shot it because the conditions that we shot it in were like ridiculous. And also, you see those beautiful clothes you're wearing? Mm. They were done by a, um, a shop called Kidosho KE, mm -hmm. a lady that is Kenyan, a Kenyan designer, mm. who the quality of her clothes is impeccable. And our team was just amazing. And yes, it was done somewhere in Ukambani. And for real, how we found that yeah. venue. <laughs> and how we found that venue. Yeah. Steven, you went to my village and you didn't tell me that you're going no, to my let, village. Let me tell you something interesting about the venue. How we found it mm. is just that we got into a car, the three of us. And, and we you're like, like, whatever, man. And we drove. 
you know? I know. And then we saw a different bit. We were like, that's the glitch. That's nice. a glitch. Wow. Nice. Wow, fantastic. Thank you, Wamboy. Thank, Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. And kudos. Please tell the rest of the team that we love the song. And we certainly are looking forward to more right. from you. Beautiful. Wow. All right. Uh, thank you. Yeah, so big up. I knew that I was up. You knew it was Ukambani. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure Stevens just saw it and there was something about it that he knew it was Ukambani. Before we go to the Pulse and the Nairobian, because we're still on music, the gospel music industry has basically had a bashing this All week. Right. Yeah. It, 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 is, uh, it, is, it is people behaving badly. Okay, you know, my heart is really... <laughs> you know, Another know, apology. What, what is wrong with the boy? <laughs> uh, what? Mm -hmm. What? What? Mm -hmm. Bahati, really? Mm -hmm. Once more, he mm -hmm. went ranting on his page. Which one? And there are many boys in this thing. Yeah. Look at the, the Bahati now. <laughs> the Bahati? Yes. Not the Will Paul. No, no. Not the ringtone. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. But now the Bahati is the one who began the entire situation of now he's sorry again for, for <laughs> how the, the industry has behaved. And now, in fact, even he knows that the Songs that he has done are not nice. Since 2014. Yes, since 2014. Since Barua, he has also not done anything good. Now, who tells this boy, which, which sympathy is he looking for all this time? She's so passionate She's about this. No, 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 no. Really? Why? Yeah. Why are you and, pulling a Kanye on and, Instagram? No, no he, he, yes. He actually pulled a Kanye situation over there. <laughs> and didn't you know what he was told by the other artists? Mm -hmm. I love what, um, what the Klaus told, um, yeah, what yeah. Yeah. just told him. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think he needs to remove the diapers. Mm -hmm. And finally, wear big boy panties and yes. stop the sagging. Yes. I have for me. Yeah. I'm not and, 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 that, and yeah. that coming from yeah. somebody in the industry, mm -hmm. and, and especially very respected yeah. and senior in terms of the yeah. music, yeah. then I think Bahati needs to listen up. And uh, hopefully, we're going to have uh, Willie Paul and <laughs> Saizi also coming in later on. So we'll we'll have that conversation. But yeah, I think they just need to put their act together. At the end of the day, uh, we need good music. If they are ministers, the I remember last week. You, you, you see, the problem comes in when, when you, you are in the game. I, I don't dispute that uh, um, his career is at, uh, at a high at this point. Mm -hmm. But when you start thinking you're the spokesperson of, of everyone, of, of, the, industry. of the whole of industry, <laughs> these people, well, and, he, uh, and these are my sentiments. He sat on Uhuru's chair, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe that gives him a position. No, he, Guys, we need to look at the pulse in the Nairobi. No, he's in the pulse, though, I know. And Guys, my... I, I just take the cue from you and I just yes. go right ahead. Just go right in that story. Mm -hmm. um, for, for people who don't know what you're talking about, it's the old uh, uh, beef and whatever it is around gospel artists. And a joke was being made last night that the gospel artists are no longer in charge of gospel in Kenya. If Saudi Soul and uh, Nyash can do gospel and be on the top of game now. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Pulse just br brings you all the gossip in town. And the reason why I go to, to this page 19 is, a, is the fact that the story we're talking about now is right there. If you want to get the details about Bahati, Willie Paul, uh, Rington, and the rest of the guys who are beefing this week, then just grab the paper and go to page yeah. 19 where you find all the gossip and much more juicy stuff that I don't want to let out of the bag. But don't you not think he had a point when he, saying, when he was saying that um, the gospel artists are losing it, like over the glitz and the glam, we're forgetting why you sing and it's for... You know what? The but, but he himself, what has he done? He's always <laughs> posting that mark, I, I think, mark I mean, that must be of his it's, it's and, a, it's and a, saying it's, how it's he's It's general. We should, we should you know what? I, I, I think like we break it down, we, we're not going to spare these guys and that's up. Another yeah. warning from Pulse, yeah. Yeah. you will read about it yeah. and you'll know the truth about this because some yes. of these things are just goes to stuff that they are hiding behind there, yeah. and that is what Paul is looking at. I know. That's a warning. So, <laughs> well, on a, on a very positive note, well, our cover story again today, Mike. We are on the festivity season and our mood right now. Mm. And what happens during this season is that our celebrities, our MCs, our DJs. Uh, like they Solonia, it in. Mm -hmm. I, I, I normally get it gigs, and, and uh, this is the, like this is the time now. It's the windfall time yes. for, for guys to make money. And what you're trying to profile is that because corporates, uh, clubs, and everybody is trying to, of course, look at who is the right person probably to have in the event. Past today is just giving a free education for all. That some of those MCs you can call, some of those DJs you can call. call it's two separate stories that you can talk about. But above all those things, Mike. I, my mind is just on the Pulse Music Video Awards. Yes, tell us about that before we go to the Nairobi. That we are focusing on now. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, coming Thursday at the Serena Hotel, 
uh, the second uh, edition of the Paz Music Awards are going to be held. And this is about the cream de la cream of the industry coming together, not because Paz is doing a show, but because we are believing that this industry can move together in one direction if we have one voice. And the Paz Video Music Awards are just meant for that, to bring the industry together and just award the best videos that we've had all of this year. All right. And uh, very briefly, the Nairobian, we need to wind up. OK. Um, uh, and uh, in the Nairobian, by the way, I have to say this. In the Nairobian today, you have to get it. All the scandals in the city, from mm. political to, um, uh, to, to religious. Juju. I saw Juju. To, <laughs> but Juju let me run very fast to the, to the splash story, which his uh, MP paid me 50,000 shillings to ban his juju. This is a story on page five, and you got to, to um, uh, get to know why the helicopter, uh, helicopter ministry's uh, Bishop Thomas Wahome uh, mm. received 50,000 shillings from uh, Mwingi Central MP Joe Mutambu to ban a juju snake. A juju snake. Right? So all there's, right. there's all those stories going on there. <laughs> um, uh, there's another um, uh, quite uh, scandalous story here of a CIA politician who posted uh, notes, again, another story of notes that has been going, we, 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 uh, has we been have, very big. I'll year. have to cut you short, so locals of time. <laughs> yeah. are, and I, I must mention this one. Mm -hmm. Gladys Wanga to MP Kaluma, you talk a lot, kumbe hauna nguvu. Yes. Get yourself a copy of this. This <laughs> looks <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> there's <laughs> never a dull day in <laughs> <laughs> politics. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, guys, thank you so much for, for being part of the crew right, right here on Morning Express. This is where we part ways with uh, Katie and Home. It's Life and Style, and today is Feel Good Friday. And for us right here on KTN News, do stand by. We've got some news updates coming up. Then later on, we'll have our Friday chat. Don't go away. Kenya's finest DJ.